What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone and I'm gonna welcome back to a brand new video and our first PSA sub is finally back. I can't wait to show y'all the grades we got. And we got two big pop one cards that I am very, very excited about. And I think without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back everybody and let's now get into this video for our first PSA sub ever it's finally back we sent it back in probably mid-February and she made it back about two weeks ago but I was sadly gone on a work trip and so I'm back now and we finally have these slabs in our hands I'm excited to get to walk the walk through these with y'all if y'all haven't seen the channel yet I am doing a 75 subscriber giveaway so I want y'all to enter into that first down in the description, there's a link to the video, the giveaway video of showing off what exactly all is being given away, which is a Shining Fate CTB, a 2020 to 20, or a set of two 2020-2021 NBA Prism Cellos or 2021 NFL Prestige Blasters, a set of two of them. You'll get your pick of one of those three options. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe, and that counts as an entry. You can do that basically on any video that I've made going back until that giveaway video. So please check it out, enter that giveaway, support the channel. I greatly would appreciate it. And now let's get into this nice quick reveal of what we had from our first PSA sub. Now this was a fun one because I did have two kind of bigger, or two bigger heavy hitters, kind of a smaller smaller card, and then two, two of them where I actually broke some HGA slabs in a little bit of a test. And so if you, remember, if you haven't seen that video yet, the link will be down in the description below. Please check it out for what we thought might happen going into this. But let's start it off with kind of the, probably the little filler card. I actually had one to put another card in this at the time until the video showed, but this one came across and I thought I might send it in just to see. And sadly it didn't do too, too hot. We got a nice little PSA 8 Joe Burrow Prism Black, not a silver or anything. You know, I was hoping this would get at least a nine, honestly. I don't know quite what forced it to get an eight. Maybe it had a soft corner that I didn't recognize, but besides that, hey, it happens. That's okay, because this was definitely not the highlight of why I sent the submission. Putting out the next one, now I did say that we had two HGA submissions. They were both HGA 9.5s, all true 9.5s, and this Cole Anthony actually had a 10 as well. And so, this is our downtown Cole Anthony from 2020 Prism Draft Picks. We got a PSA 9 on this one. So, sadly our, you know, our, our theory did not come to fruition on this card. Kinda wish. It would have, because that would have been nice to have a PSA 10 of this card. Sadly, he's not going to be in the playoffs this year, but I definitely will probably hold on to this one, because I think the value of this is not not very high. I think I would have said I definitely lost money on this, because I think I paid, at the time, Cole was a little hotter than he is now, so I think I paid 200 for it at the time. You know, $50 creating fee, I'm about 250 all in, and you could buy this card for about 100 bucks right now. So, down to 150 on it. Not a great feeling. We'll probably hold just to, you know, cross fingers, maybe and see if he does a little bit better moving in the future. Maybe gets moved to a better team, and then maybe we can get a little bit of a bump to where I can at least break even on it. But that's okay. That happens in card world. We will set that one right there. And here is the other HGA9 we looked at, being a Emmett Smith Kaboom from 2021 Absolute. So this one did PSA9 as well. This one, I am a Cowboys fan, and of course I'm in the Texas area, so this is a still a big card, honestly. I think I paid about 300 for the HJ9, uh, or sorry, 9.5, and then of course after a $50 grading fee with the economy submission from PSA, I bet I could ask for about 400 bucks for this card in, in the Dallas area, and I think I might be able to get it. So that's gonna be my goal is, you know, just to, you know, heck, even if it's 375, just get a little bit of money back, and we'll be happy with that. It was worth the shot, because if this thing 10, there's I think only one 10, and this is a pop four, and so, would have been nice to get that, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some. I will say before we reveal these other two, I did want to give a little bit of a sneak peek of probably what my, what will be involved in my next PSA submission, because of course we got to keep these PSA subs coming. And so you can see in the back, we got a Sylveon GX from Hidden Fates and Sabrina's Alakazam. That one I actually just picked up from a card store when I was visiting Houston for the work trip. And so definitely keep an eye out for that video that will be coming out sometime in the near future. But, like I said, not too bad. Big Cowboys guy will probably take this card with no issue. And 
I guess I've never really noticed. I haven't had too many slabs, let alone PSA slabs. I didn't know that they would have these in these like kind of really like a card like this would be in one of the thicker ones. So that kind of surprised me, but that's okay. Hence why the perfect fit sleeve doesn't quite look so good. But let's get into the first of two pop one cards we got out of this out of this submission. Crazy, crazy submission that usually you don't even get one pop one card, let alone two. And so our first one is gonna be the Justin Herbert Hollow Heroes Illusions case hit. You can see right up there, 2021, Justin Herbert Hollow Heroes, PSA 10, Gem Mint. Look at that card. Looking in the nice big sleeve. I didn't realize, but they will actually sometimes sleeve these cards on the inside, so this one is sleeved on the inside of the case as well. Uh, hence, I think why you get a little bit of the dust specs, sadly, that you can really see in a card like this, but I love how it, you still get the shininess and a little bit of rainbow effect coming from it. So this is the, I believe, HJ, HHJJH6. And so there's a few different versions of it. I think it goes all the way up to eight. But this is a pop one for this card. I will say I'm probably, I think the raw, these cards go from anywhere about one to 150. There's a few PSA nines that I think I've sold around the 200 mark. I'd probably be looking, you know, I'd value this pretty fairly. I think if I was able to do a cash deal, I probably would take 500 for it. You know, if I put it up on eBay, six 650 some of that ballpark that's the fun thing about having a pop one card is you get to set your price and so awesome awesome justin herbert it's not a rookie but that's okay because herbie is doing well and he's got a heck of a next season coming up because chargers have been making moves stacking that defense that they really really needed some help with and so good one right there and let's get into probably the def definitely the biggest one out of this. I didn't even know if I expected this one to 10, but the fact it did is amazing because this made this submission all worth it. And so here we go. The 2020 Panini Select Tom Brady Blue Prism PSA 10 Pop 1 Brady. Never imagined I'd get to say those words that I'm holding a Pop 1 Brady in my hands. Looking on the back, you can see this is the numbered out of 75. We got number 45 out of 75. And so a gorgeous Brady card. Love it in the slab with the pop with the PSA 10 right next to it. Awesome, awesome card. Pop one Brady. It just sounds fun to say. I just can't stop saying it. <laughs> but fun card. I would say that the value of this one is definitely definitely the most expensive out of all these. I would say realistically probably somewhere around the $800 mark based off some of the other similar comps for other out of 75 Brady's from Select that have sold in the PSA 10. Of course, there aren't too many of them, and it can be a little harsh to judge, but I bet I would take 800 for it if someone asked me. You know, eBay value, call it about 1K, which is crazy to think that I have a $1,000 Brady card. Um, but it's a pop one, so I get to call it what I want. And so fun, fun submission right there. Really, really enjoyed getting to do this. We got one that actually just popped grades yesterday, and so I should be having it in the mail soon for the second five card submission. And then that big 20 card submission is now in grading, and so I can't wait to see how those do. And so that's gonna end this video here. If you haven't yet, please check out my Instagram, TikTok, links down in the description below. And I wanna thank you all for supporting the channel. And so let me know how you think this PSA sub did. Please comment down below. What's your favorite card from this sub? Tell me what you think the value of that Brady or Justin may be. So I'd love to hear some more second opinions. And I just wanted to also see if y'all might have enjoyed this video. And so we're going to finish it off here. I want to thank you all for watching. And we will see you guys next time.